Inflation, the problem that ensures economists never get invited back to dinner parties. Gee guys, the economy is a bit too good right now. That might be a real issue. We might want to make it a bit worse. Now, With some economic watchers beginning to sound alarms on inflation, I thought I'd give you guys a backdoor view into the secret sauce that creates the problem. Now, The basic idea of inflation is that there's an increase in prices based on currency losing its value. Now, If that made your eyes glaze over, don't worry. When I start laying out examples, this picture will become a lot clearer. Now, There are three major factors you need to whip up a good old fashioned batch of inflation. A ton of cash, a desire amongst the population to spend that cash to buy things, and a lack of things to buy. So first, a ton of cash. Best problem to have. Let me lay out a scenario for you. Your entire net savings comes out to $40, and I offer you a sandwich for $20. You're probably not going to take me up on that offer. A $20 sandwich? That's half my savings. You crazy? Now, if you had a few thousand dollars in savings, on the other hand, that offer might start to sound a bit more reasonable. The quality of the product hasn't changed, just how much you, as a consumer, value your money. Now, the more money out there, the more some people choose to play a little bit fast and loose with what they have. Get millions of consumers making these types of decisions every day, and prices are bound to start getting a little bit more expensive. If you want to fight inflation, don't treat yourself. Now, second, the inverse of that point. Is there a desire to spend that money? So let's just say I print a bunch of money and immediately just lock it in a safe. The supply of money has increased, but inflation stays the same. It's just sitting there. Now, this is actually a huge problem in Japan right now because people might have more money, but they just don't want to spend it. Consumers are extremely price sensitive, so as soon as they raise prices, customers disappear. The fear of losing customers is partly responsible for keeping prices down across Japan. Now, this has been a huge problem for the Bank of Japan because, seriously, guys, we're giving everyone all this money. Spend it, have some fun, treat yourself, get yourself something nice. Uh, uh, Oh no, you're just gonna put all that fresh money into a safe. <sighs> this is why we can't have nice things. Now, the fact that even obvious cost pressures in the economy does not translate to higher inflation poses a huge challenge for the Bank of Japan. Its strategy for the past five years has been to boost demand, hoping to create labor shortages, push up wages, and thereby raise prices. Increasingly, though, it appears as though price rises are so strongly anchored to zero that the last step will work slowly, if at all. So, for this second factor, if the government hands out a bunch of cash but people just don't want to spend it, well, inflation isn't going to happen. Now to the last factor, just the amount of things for sale. Let's say I'm selling this new PS5 and there are thousands of them just sitting on the shelves of every major retailer waiting to be bought. Well, you're probably going to pay the $500 price it's been marketed as having. If on the other hand, it was sold out literally everywhere and you managed to find one, you're going to end up paying an inflated $1000 for that exact same item. Now that's a microcosm of a much larger economic issue. If people want to buy more things, but there aren't more things to buy, prices are going to go up. This issue is hovering in the background of today's conversation because supply shortages and higher freight rates could dampen trade growth a bit, and that will contribute to temporarily higher inflation pressures over the course of the next year. So those are the three ingredients required to make in a hot and fresh batch of inflation. Now, to get to the core point of this episode, inflation is generally talked about as some kind of looming outside force that'll just be triggered if things are going a bit too well. Don't give people money or you'll wake up inflation from its hibernation. Some sort of economic blue shell, if I may. Instead, it's, well, it's just us. Inflation is just an aggregate number of consumers looking at a price increase and saying, yeah. That makes sense. I'm willing to pay it. 
Thank you, and that's all I have to say about that. Hello, YouTube. I'd like to thank my patrons here for helping me put out my videos. If you want to support independent, nonpartisan news looking into the overlooked, join this growing list of exceptional individuals by clicking on that link in the description. Also, remember to subscribe and ring that bell so that freedom will continue to ring. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw, and lastly, as always, thank you for watching.